Hi everyone, this is Judy from Judy's Handmade Creation and today I'll be creating a, a banner with bunnies on it and uh, I'm going to be using the birthday bash because it has a lot of banners on it and I'm going to use the get, get the bunny off doodle charm I'm going to use this bunny here these are the per uh, cartridges that I purchased a few years. I think this is one of the very first ones I purchased. I think I purchased that in like 2010 or something. Okay. And I'm going to be using my tablet. And you go to Cricut Design Space. You click on it. And then if you're going to create a new a new um, project, you click this here. So I already created my project in here. I already created it, but if you're going to not have it, you're going to go to image. And then you would go to cartridges. See, you can purchase a lot of these. You go to cartridges. And then I'm going to use my cartridge that I already have, that I already downloaded on the app. Let me click it again because it's... Is that my cartridges? Nope. Over here it says my cartridges. And these are all the cartridges I purchased. And it's got a child year and all them different ones. But I'm looking for a birthday bash. So I'm going to go to birthday bash. And all this is all the names. Oh, I think I passed it. They got them in order. An alphabetical. This is a birthday bash. That's this cartridge here that I purchased. And you would click on that. And then it would load it and then you would pick out what image you want and it loads them all here and you look to see which banner you want or which design see it's got a banner like that it's got a lot of different banners but that's not the one I'm going to use There's a lot of different ones. I want to use the round one at the bottom banner. See all the different banners they have on there? That's a banner, that's a banner. And this cartridge has a lot of numbers. See all the different banners. That's, and this is the banner I want to use right there. So you would just click that and then you would just load it into your onto your canvas. You would insert it on your canvas, which I already got it there. And you would just size it. Cause you can unlock it and just size it different ways so that's what I did there that's how big I want it already did it and then I want you I want to put a bunny on it so I already put a bunny here but I'm gonna show you how to get to get the bunny you go to image you go pick out an image down here at the bottom 
and it'll load. And I want to pick out one of my cartridges. That's the, that's off the doodle, the doodle charm cartridge. I can get it to show up. Let me see him. I don't know when I click on my cartridge, it ain't working. There it goes, and I, that's my, all my cartridges again. And then you go look for Doodle Charm, because that's the cartridge that I want to get the image off of. Doodle Charms for the bunny. So that would be this one here. Down at this one right here. He would click on it. And then it would try to load it on there. And this is all the images on that cartridge. And I want to look for the bunny one. See, that's a bunny, but I want just the bunny head. Just the bunny head. This is all the ones that you can cut out. It's got like little bears and dogs. And that's the bunny head that I want to use right there. So I would click on it. And then it says insert it on the canvas. So we would try to insert it on a canvas. And it would be here. And then you would just size it. This here you can size, unlock lock it. And then you can size it as big as you want. Just as long as it fits on a, it's got to fit on a four and a half, four and a half mat width. So you can take and size it like this arrow will take and size it around. But I already got the one I want to use over there, so I'll just delete this. I was just showing you how I got it on here. So next you would go down at the bottom. You would want to make these. You would put make it on a mat and that would be the banner and that would be the bunny nose there and that would be the bunny head and I think that's the front of the yeah this is the front of it I'm gonna rearrange this because I want this to go this to go up here with the, the um with the banner. So I'm gonna change the mat size because I'm gonna use the four and a half by twelve inch mat. I'm gonna click OK and then I want to cut three of those out. Three. I must have it too big. I might have to go and size it down. I want it three on three on the mat. So let me go size it back down. I want three to go on the is that the let me see what's no, I gotta I gotta have it four and a half by twelve. Okay. Oh, I gotta spread it out some. They're too close together. <coughs> Let me see how it look. That might work. Let me go back to this one. I'm on it. To use four and a half by twelve mat. That's what I'm going to use. I'm going to go okay. And it's going to cut three out. And it's going to cut three bunnies 
heads and three nose. Okay. Now I gotta pick out what kind of paper I want. And this paper pack, if you want a big pack of cardstock, I got this from Michaels. It's a $39.99, $39.99 pack. It's got 400 sheets in it. It's like a rainbow colors. I paid $14.97 for this. It's on clearance. So if you need cardstock and you want to get like a lot of the rainbow colors or bright colors, rainbow, you can get this up. Get this up. I, I think, I hope I said Michaels. Michaels for $14.97. And it's a 400 pack. So what you do is you pick out your cardstock that you want to use now. And I like this cardstock that I got because it's um it's like a rainbow color. For the back of the banner, I'm going to use white. And I think I might use like a blue and a pink. Yeah, I think I'll use a blue color and a pink color. But this is a uh, nice, nice, um, nice, uh, oops, sorry. This is, um, a big pack of cardstock for $14.97. You can't beat that at Michael's. And I needed some, like, bright summer spring colors. And this is perfect. For Easter, anyway. Okay, I'm going to do the back, that color, and then I think I'll do the bunny pink. I'm going to make it pretty. I'm going to use a pretty colors now. Don't know how it's going to turn out. This video is not going to be edited, so what you see is what you're going to get. You're going to get all the mistakes, too. And then you just go pick out the color you want of your cardstock. So I say maybe this light blue. I don't know if that'll show up though. Maybe I use this like like a green blue. Green blue maybe. Like that there. And then maybe for the bunny, I might use like a pink. Maybe like a pink for the bunny. Let me see if that'll match up. Yeah, that'll go. And then a white for the back of the banner because it's going to be like doubled. So it'll be this for the front of the banner, this for the back of the banner, this for the bunny, and maybe a little bit of black for the nose. I'm going to cut these. This is an eight, eight and a half by, um, let me move this for a minute because my table ain't that big. I'll move this machine. This is an eight and a half by 11 inch paper. And I'm just going to cut it for... I'm going to go four and a quarter. Got to put it halfway down. Right. I'm going to cut them four and a quarter. And then I'm going to cut this one four and a quarter. Because it's got to fit on. This is four and a half. But I'm going to do four and a quarter. Oh, that's going to be a little bit smaller. This four and a quarter. And this is not going to be edited. So everything you see is what I'm doing. And then I'm going to get my mat ready so I can put the machine and put my paper on it. I got to see which one I got to do first. I want to 
to go see. Uh, they're too close together. Okay, that's the front. I'm going to put this one over. I want to rearrange it because I want the one that's going to be in the front up here. That's going to be the back of the banner. So the front of the banner, I want, this is going to be the front of the banner. This is going to be the smaller part. So that's going to go in the front because it's going to cut a little smaller. And I'm going to use the blue for that. Did I say the blue? Yeah, I'm going to use the blue for the front of that. Okay, so I'm going to use the blue. So let me get the blue on the mat. This is going to be probably a long video. Okay, I'm going to do the blue, and then I want the white in the back. I'll just put this on the mat. And then I'm just going to go cut. I'm going to go. I'm going to continue. Let's see what it does. And it's going to connect the joy to the Bluetooth. I think you got to do that every time. So it's going to connect it. And then I'm going to go. I'm going to click, um, select the card stop. So I'm going to click card stop. And it tells you to have your blade in there and load your paper. So I'm going to load the paper in there. And then it's going to measure how big the paper is to see if it'll work. It's going to measure the size of the paper. And then I'm going to I'm going to click go so I can start cutting it. So it should start cutting it. And then you can unload. It'll say unload on your tablet. So you unload. And then you can just take these off with your tools. I got my older tools that I got with my older, my older uh, Cricut Explorer and my first Cricut I got. And then you just, you just take them off the mat. And these are going to be very, a very small banner. See, so it's like, I don't know if you can see the size of it. I made it, I'm just making a small one for now. I could have made it a little bit bigger, but... And then just take them off. 
if you have anything in there, you can take, see how it's got the little, you can take a little scraper and scrape that off. I've got a little trash can here where I can scrape it in there. You just scrape it off like this. It scrapes a little pieces off of there. And then, it's, then you can go with your next cut. The next one's going to be the white card stop. That's going to go in back of the blue one. See, I have a hard time lining it up. And just put it on there. And move this out of the way. Press it down. Let me move this up so you can see. Pick out your card stock. That's what it is, card stock. And then it me that's measuring the paper to make sure you got enough paper on there. And then after it measure, then if it's okay, you can click go. And it'll go and start cutting it. it out so that's going to be the back of this part I'm going to glue it here or and it cuts a little holes in there like it does with the your bigger cricket and it says data pop up and then you have to unload so unload would be right here I don't know if you can see it right there and it unloads the mat and then you can take you can take and take it off the mat use your little tool thing so you can lift it up so these are going to go like this when you glue it so to have like a little white on the back. I'm going to go like this. And you're going to run your little string through it. It's like a little banner. And then you scrape your mat to get the little little pieces of paper off like that and just throw them in the trash because you don't really use those and then you're gonna next is gonna be your bunny heads so I'm gonna use pink card stock for that I'm gonna use pink for that I put the machine where you can see it. Okay, I already got these cut. You can also cut letters and put on your banners if you want to put a name on it. I don't think I'll put that in there crooked. If you put it in there crooked, you can undo it. I think it went in there and pick out your card stop. Well, that's what that is card stop. And then it measures it to see if you got enough paper. And then after it measures it, you're going to pick go because it lets you know if you don't have enough card stock on there. And it's going to cut out the little bodies enough paper 
and then it goes and it starts cutting it. Cut out your little bunnies. In my Cricut Explorer, I'll make bigger banners. This is good. This machine's good for smaller ones, smaller projects. And then after it gets done, it says unload down at the bottom. So you click unload. And it unloads, and then you just take this off the mat, and you got your little bunnies there. I'm gonna save this because I didn't. And then you lift them off there, and that's your neat little bunnies. Cute little bunnies there. I just made them big enough to fit on here. And then you want to cut the little nose out. And I'm going to use a little bit, a little bit of black cardstock. So this cardstock is really small. So I'm going to, I don't need a really big piece because I don't want to use a big piece of cardstock. And I'm going to do the nose because oh, this is a piece of scrap I had. Unload it, and this is the nose. I don't know if you can see it, see the little noses on there. And you're going to pick cardstock, that's what it is. I just want to measure it to make sure you got enough of cardstock, and then I'm going to pick go. Cut out the little noses and then it'll say unload and then you unload it and then these are little teeny, the little teeny noses. I don't know, I'm trying to pick it off on the I'll let you see them because they're real teeny. See a little nose that's gonna go on there. I'm going to glue them on there if I don't lose them. So little. They're going to go right here. On the nose. And now I have to figure out what little eyes I'm going to use. Maybe I can make some little eyes. That's the little noses. And that's my little bunny. I'm going to get some glue and glue them on there because if I don't glue those, I'm going to lose them. Okay, and then I'm going to, it says down at the bottom, it says finish, so you click finish. And then I'm just going to go back to home and I'm going to close it out because I'm done. With that, I'm going to glue it. I'm going to take and cover this up, the mat, so it don't get no, so it don't lose really its sticky. Because if it gets fuzz on it, it's going to lose its stickiness. I'm going to move this over here, because I'm done with it. And I'm going to take my glue stick. And try to glue these nose down. After let me try to pick them little eyes out. And it's got like little pieces stuck in there. I'm 
I don't know if you can see the bunny face on it. I'm going to take this little nose part and I'm going to glue it down. I think I'll use this, this glue here to get it. This liquid glue. Uh oh, I think I put too much. And then take and put your nose down. This nose is so little. I made little, little bunny. And then get the little nose on there. See little nose? I gotta get this eye poked out. I got little glue from the other one I can put on there. Then put your nose up there, glue it down. I just wanted to make the bunny big enough to go on top of the banner. I didn't want to make it too big. There we go. Got that little body done. And then do this little body. This will be a little window banner for your window. Or you can use it, put it on your uh, little kid's wall. You gotta get these situated where they... Where it lays, don't be crooked on there. I gotta get my little rag here. Cause I don't like glue all over my hands. I'm gonna poke these eyes out cause they're little little eyes didn't come all the way out. I'll put the little nose on there. I don't know if you can see it. Let me put it on here. Maybe you might be able to see it better. Okay, and then I'm going to glue this down over top of here. Like that. I'm going to glue it. I think I'll use this glue here. this glue stick use a glue stick I got 18 of these glue sticks at um BJ's I don't know if you know what BJ's is and then just line it up with your holes up there so you can put your string through there and it should be lined up like that so you can see the little holes you got to put your banner up in there I mean your um, strings to tie your banner up I just go around the edges with the glue stick a couple times and then crisscross in the middle I'll make sure it's got enough glue on it And then I just line it up with the holes so you can see the white part of it. And that's like that. Got your little bunnies. To do this in the same way. Because I use a lot of glue and them glue sticks are good for like it's paper paper crafting. And 18 for $5.99 is not bad. I think that's pretty cheap. See how the holes, you got to line the holes up. And then you just, I make a mess with that glue. I'll take and put the lid on it. I don't know if you can 
know which glue I'm going to use for the bunnies. Maybe, maybe pop that up a little bit. Let me see if I can find my pop up. I'm going to some, um, what do you call them things? Uh, I got them over here in my little container. I'll have to cut these. I got some mounting tape, but I have to cut it with my scissors because they're not cut already. I'll cut them with my scissors and I'll mount the bunny up a little bit. That's that mounting tape where it popped it up a little bit. I'll just take and put it on here. And then I'll pop my bunny up, look like this popped up a little bit. I'm gonna get that glue off. That glue's gonna make everything sticky, and I don't like that. I'm gonna try to wipe that up a little bit. Sorry. Okay, I got that up. See, look like that how I popped it up a little bit. I got that one done. I'm gonna cut a piece for this one. Cut a piece for that one. See, I didn't get it already cut, so I had to cut it with my scissors. But it's cheaper to buy it like this. And then put it on the back. That's my little paper. And put your bunnies there. I got another one for that one. You could probably add a little more on. And then I got them all like that. My little bunnies. And if you wanted to, you could probably add some little eyes if you had them. Hmm. I did have little eyes, but let me see if I got some little little ones over here. I got them all in here. I keep them in this little bag of like a lot of, uh oh, sorry, hit the camera. I got some little eyes here. I need some real little eyes. Let me see what I got. I'll put them in these little bags so we get them all mixed up. Mm. Oh, well, I'm getting them everywhere now. Oh, this one's got some little ones. Let's see if these are too big. A little googly eye. You could add a little bit of googly eyes to them. Oh, that might work. These here might work for it. I keep them in here so I don't get them all messed up. I got them all messed up anyway. Let me see if that's small enough. Yeah, that might work. Put you some little wiggly eyes on it. Let's see. There we go. See little wiggly eyes? Oop. Now I got some glue coming out of here. I'm just going to use this glue here. Get glue all over my hands again. I'm going to put a pretty good bit on there so when it dries it won't fall off. I'm make a mess of this glue. And all your little get your little glues out, get your glue all over it. Might have to um
It's a little Easter banner. Cute little Easter banner. Oh, you put it in the wrong spot. I almost glued it up there. I got glue all over the front of it. I want to make sure it's got a glue that'll dry clear. I need to get that glue off my hands. It drives me crazy. Then let your little eyes dry. Little googly eyes. And then after you get your little eyes on there, and if you want to add your ribbon or your string, I got this ribbon. I don't think I'm well, good good with it. This is ribbon I got from the dollar store. I guess it'll fit through there. So you can hang it in the window or on the door. And then just rub, run your ribbon through it. Get it from the Dollar Tree store for a dollar. You probably could get a smaller ribbon. This is kind of thick, but it looks pretty. Yep, looks pretty ribbon. Just run it through there. I go in the back to the front. So the pretty ribbon can show a little bit in the front. Yep, hang out your little like this. Run it through. Run it through the hole. This is like I said from the dollar store. You can leave your ribbon as long as you want. Run it through the holes up there. You can embellish it more, but this is all I'm going to do to it. Yeah, you can make it. However long you need your string, you got your ribbon. I like leaving a little bit long so I can space it in the middle. The ribbon is so pretty, ain't it? That way you can space it how big you want it. That's a very cute little banner. That's a pretty good amount. I might leave it a little longer. I like the ribbon look. That's the ribbon looks pretty. You can take like the little whisk, what do you call it, the little bunny whispers and a little mouth. You can, you can um take a marker and color that in or anything like that and you can leave this as long as you want it so that way you can hang it on the wall or your ribbon let's see close up it's a little bunny a bunny banner I guess this would be long enough Yeah, you get your ribbon at the dollar store, it's cheap. Okay, I got that. I gotta wipe this glue off because it's got glue coming out of it like crazy. 
I didn't want to get cat to get stuck on there. And that'll work. Nice little banner. Let me see if I can color this in with marker or something. Let me see if I got my markers over here. Some of it's over on the other side. I got to reach it up and get it. Because I can't reach for it. And I got some markers in here and I got some pencils. And you could either put glitter glue on it. Well, it's got little mouth there. And the little whiskers, I guess they would be black, right? This, I guess that's black, isn't it? You can take and put a little line so the little whiskers can show. Like that. Your bunny whis whiskers. They got the little lines there where they cut out. The bunny whiskers. No, that one's too light. I didn't want to make them too dark. And then you got the bunny mouth there. Hmm. Maybe pink. Let's see if this pink will show up. It's got the little mouth. Let you see it after I've colored them all in. And that's my project. My Easter banner. Put this over here on the and made with the cricket. It's a banner for the wall. And how cute is that? You can personalize banners. You can make birthday banners. You can um, they make very nice banners. And I'll show you some of the like I said this. This banner here came out of this cartridge, and this is called Birthday Bash. It's one that I layered on there. I'll show you some of the images that's in there real quick. This image here is on page 70 of the book. It's this one here. I'll share a little bit of the images I got. This has got nice images. It's got numbers and birds and rabbits. Birthday. I'll show you a couple of them. Here's, here's the image that's on there. It's got numbers on there. It's got a lot of banners on it. Different kind of banners. That's what I like about this one. You can make banners with it. It's got a lot of different... And I had this a long time. I like the birthday birthday one. Let me see if I can show you some of the banners that's on here real quick. See, it's got letters. You can even put names on your banners. See, here's a banner. And that's a banner. It's got a lot of banners in here. Probably path. Here's a banner. And that's a banner. I like this because of the banners that it's got. See this banner and that banner. And it's got like square banners. It all cuts the holes in it for you. And that's about it for that. 
that cartridge there. That's what cuts these banners out. And I'll show you the one for the bunny and what page. You download these into your designs. Well, you probably can buy them off of there too. But I bought these when the, my first machine came out. The bunny image here, that's on page 88. And I'll show you some of it. This is one of the very, this is like one of the very first cartridges I think they came out with. The cricket came out with it. It's got snowmans and it's got cards in here that you can cut. It's got borders. Like this is a snow globe border. You got heart borders. I love this. This is this is one of the very first cartridges I purchased. Because I liked it because it had all the borders in there. And the cards. And that's a jar. And that's a ladybug. See, I had purchased this in the store when I had it in the store. <clears throat> I think I got this at Michael's. It's got a lot past a couple pages that you didn't see. But it's got, like, the little hats to go on here and hat um, die cuts, dog and the cat. Yes, spiders and little bags and Santa and the reindeer stockings like little I don't know I tell them I might never made that one look like a little envelope and that's where the bunny come off this doodle charms that's where the bunny bunny come off of. And this is a pretty long video. I was hoping, and it's not edited, so what you see is what you get. This is what I created with the Cricut Joy today. It's an Easter banner with a bunny on it. And I like it. It's cute. Yep, it's a cute little banner that you can hang on your wall. It's a bunny banner. And it's a cute banner. Thanks everybody for watching and supporting my channel. I really appreciate all you, all my subscribers. And I appreciate all the new subscribers. And I hope that you're enjoying what I'm creating. And I hope you keep watching. And thanks for watching. I really appreciate you. Be blessed. Have a blessed day or night. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.